The search for our true essence goes beyond the masks we wear on a daily basis. As I said in the previous video, we are shaped by social roles, past experiences, and even other people's expectations. Something that makes me think, how many identities do we carry throughout our lives? What if, for a moment, we allowed ourselves to go beyond these superficial layers? What if we question not just who we are, but what exists beyond the masks we wear every day? The challenge is intriguing, don't you think? But think about it. Who are we when we take off the clothes of the ego and social conventions? What remains when we let go of the stories we tell ourselves and others? Many questions I know, but they are questions that lead us to the heart of the search for our true essence, for self-knowledge. So today, our journey will be an exploration to uncover the layers of our true essence, something that involves the essence of consciousness. A journey that can not only change the way we see ourselves, but also how we experience every moment of our existence. Each of us carries with us a unique and intriguing story. So allow me to share an episode from my own journey of self-discovery, an experience that, in a way, ignited the flame of reflection on identity. A few years ago, in a moment of deep introspection, I asked myself the following question. Who am I beyond the definitions the world has given me? At the time, I found myself anchored in material achievements and external identities, but there was something subtly unsettling about the incessant search for external validation. This question stayed in my mind for a long time because I was really intrigued. It was then that I began to self-investigate, wanting to understand my truth, who I really was, and it was here that a revelation in me happened. After much questioning, I realized that my achievements and social roles didn't encapsulate the totality of my being, and then a door opened to a deeper understanding. I discovered that the true journey of self-discovery is not about adding layers of identity, but about peeling back the layers that obscure one's inherent essence. Have you ever faced similar questions? Have you ever felt a call to go beyond external definitions and explore the immensity of your inner self? Of course, this is my perspective, something I've realized on my personal journey. So perhaps you have a different perspective on this. Even if that's the case, I'd love to know your perspective on this. So if you feel comfortable, share it in the comments. Life in its complexity often invites us to transcend the masks we wear. This is also why I chose this topic to discuss in today's video, because I would like to encourage you to reflect on your own journeys of self-discovery. Because it is in these moments of reflection that the pearls of inner wisdom can truly emerge. Think for a moment about the weight of carrying identities such as titles, achievements, and even other people's expectations. They are like shadows, which, although they project an image, do not capture the enlightened essence that resides within each one of us. When we define ourselves exclusively by external achievements, we run the risk of getting lost in the webs of illusion. Conceptual identity, while necessary for navigating the material world, often takes us away from connecting with our true nature. I say this because this was one of the main points in my journey. Honoring our history, remembering the past, looking at photographs and recalling stories are natural parts of our journey. However, True mastery comes when we no longer seek our self-esteem in these memories. But it is here that an important question reveals itself. How can we transcend the trap of conceptual identity, of the self that forms in our mind? In my own journey, I realized that letting go of these external definitions allowed me to dive deeper into the richness of my inner being. In our search for inner truth, we can find guidance in the wise words of the ancients, particularly the Greek saying, know thyself. These words, engraved on the walls of the Temple of Apollo, carry with them a call to a journey of self-discovery that transcends time. The ancients, in expressing these words, 
not only challenged us to know our preferences or external identities, but to delve into the depths of our being, something that invites us to transcend the masks we have accumulated throughout our lives and to look directly at the underlying essence. When we reflect on this phrase, know thyself, a fundamental question arises. How can we really know ourselves? But I believe that the answer is in connecting with our deepest essence. Socrates, one of the great philosophers of antiquity, tirelessly applied, know thyself in his dialogues, recognizing that true wisdom is in the awareness of one's own ignorance. This makes us question not only the world around us, but also the labyrinths of our own mind. Many spiritual traditions emphasize that by knowing ourselves, we connect with something beyond temporal forms and identities. The spiritual essence that resides in each of us becomes evident when we look beyond the outer layers, revealing a divine aspect that permeates all of existence. I believe that the essence of know thyself is revealed when we strip away the layers of illusion, when we let go of the transitory identities we have accumulated. Because beyond social roles and personal narratives, there is something immutable in all of us. We could say that it is a way of connecting with our consciousness. It represents the recognition of nature itself as a unique expression of universal energy. And it is in this intrinsic connection with the primordial source of existence, in pure consciousness, that we witness the spectacle of life. It's an invitation to recognize our own essence as a unique manifestation of universal consciousness. It's when we take off the clothes of the ego and dive into the true nature of being. At this moment, we recognize that at the heart of all existence, there is a single presence, an I that transcends dualities. We are aware of our sensory perceptions, immersed in the present, but beyond that, we are the very consciousness that witnesses the spectacle of life. This is the key to going beyond conceptual identity, to discovering the essence that pulses in every heartbeat. Here, the importance of transcending mental constructs becomes a fascinating journey, an invitation to explore uncharted territories of self-awareness. Every identity we have ever assumed is an overlay, obscuring the radiant light of our true self. Social masks, cultural labels, self-imposed narratives, all shape a self that often hides the true essence. When we take this bold step beyond superficial identities, we find a freedom that goes beyond conventional understanding. After all, what happens when we recognize that we are not merely the stories we tell ourselves? A metamorphosis emerges, a transformation that allows us to embrace the totality of I am without the limitations imposed by passing identities. For this, connecting with the present moment becomes essential. So try to move away from the complexities of yesterday and the uncertainties of tomorrow. Feel the breath that sustains life, the sensations that flow in the present. And as you do so, ask yourself, how much of my daily attention is consumed by thoughts anchored in identities that don't reflect the essence of I am? The present, often neglected amid the tumult of everyday life, becomes a sanctuary of self-awareness. Like the silent observer at the center of a storm, we are at the epicenter of experience. Every breath, every heartbeat is a reminder of our connection with our true self beyond the transient layers. As we dive deeper into this present moment, we recognize that the true essence of I am is not far away or in the future. It is here, now. Every thought that arises, every emotion that manifests itself is something temporary in our existence. The challenge is to accept these passing moments without getting stuck in the stories that try to define us. At this very moment, right now, we are the embodiment of consciousness. So I ask you, how do you perceive your surroundings? How do you connect with the inner presence that is the silent witness? 
As we go deeper into the present, the importance of consciousness and sensory perception emerge as fundamental elements in understanding ourselves. It's a way of exploring the richness of the present moment, not just as an interval of time, but as a gateway to self-awareness. Consider for a moment the complexity of your sensations right now, the awareness that allows you to feel the temperature of the environment, the touch of the surface around you, the sounds that permeate the space, touch, sound, vision, each element is a valuable contribution to our spiritual journey. Consciousness is not just an observer, but an active participant in building our understanding of who we are. Consciousness is what illuminates the darkest corners of our identity. Consciousness, often described as the ability to be aware of our thoughts, feelings, and the environment around us, is the cornerstone of our human experience. Rather than a mere spectator, we are active participants in the process of perceiving and interpreting the world. The ability to feel the warmth of the sun on our skin, hear the soft sound of rain, see the vibrant colors around us, all of this is mediated by consciousness. And with this, we understand that consciousness is not separate from sensations. Rather, it is the substance that creates these sensory experiences in our internal narrative. Every thought that arises, every emotion that manifests, is shaped by consciousness. This is the crucial point where the simplicity of I am meets the complexity of human experience. It's not something separate from us, but the very essence that constitutes us. It is the thread that connects all of life's experiences, transforming them into unique moments. So remember, consciousness is more than the sum of thoughts and emotions. It is the primordial essence that permeates every fiber of our being. When we become aware of this silent presence within us, true self-awareness blossoms. This self-awareness is not intellectual knowledge, but an experiential experience. And in this awakening, transcending the limitations of conceptual identity becomes not just a choice, but a natural inevitability. Understanding consciousness not only helps us discover our true essence, it can also have a profound impact on our daily experiences, shaping our perspective, attitudes, and interactions. Like, for example, a deeper sense of purpose, we can feel that we are interconnected to something greater than ourselves, which can give our daily actions a higher purpose. We become more compassionate and tolerant, recognizing the spiritual connection between all beings and adopting a more understanding approach in our daily interactions. And with this perception, we promote more authentic and compassionate relationships. Because our daily interactions are induced with a deeper sense of community and compassion, we experience a richer, more meaningful life, finding beauty in the little things and enjoying every moment. So, as we come to the end of this journey, I'd like to reinforce something. We are more than the stories we tell, more than the roles we play. We are the consciousness that witnesses the multifaceted spectacle of life. Every moment becomes an opportunity for authenticity, for experiencing life in a full and meaningful way. Reflecting on the ancient Greek saying, know thyself, we realize that the key to self-awareness is not just in knowing, but in being. Being aware, being present, being the essence that transcends all categories. This is an experiential journey towards a direct understanding of our own nature. Remember, we are the consciousness that gives meaning to our existence. So, I invite you to bring this awareness into your daily life. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.